Hey guys and welcome back to Down Under. In this week's video I'm going to tell you which one's better, Foxtel Satellite or Foxtel Cable. So we're going to get into it, which one is better if you have the choice to upgrade to Satellite and is it worth upgrading to Satellite when you get the IQ4 and we'll tell you that in this video. Let's get into it. So now we're going to be talking about outages. Which one is going to be better in this situation, Cable or Satellite which is in outages? So actually within outages, Cable is actually the worst because when they do a bit of maintenance on the pit, or there's something going wrong with the pit, they take days to fix it. There was one time last year, I think it took them like four days to fix the outage. Now you can't watch Foxtel, not just that. If you've got Telstra internet cable, it doesn't work either. So the Foxtel, not just that, that was all pixelated. You could not watch one thing. The audio was scrambled, the picture was just horrible. And I called them up multiple times and they said, oh yes, we'll be out on Monday. Now, I called them on a Sunday, and I went, okay, they'll be out on a Monday, right? They don't turn up. They take forever to fix that issue. And it wouldn't have just been me with that outage issue. It would have been multiple people um, in my area having that outage issue. So if you want your Foxtel servers back up and running as soon as possible, Foxtel Satellite is the way to go. Now, I'm going to tell you a few outages you may have if you've got Foxtel Satellite. So one is strong winds. So anything over 75 kilometers an hour, I'm pretty sure we'll start going pixelation because I'm at currently 54 kilometers an hour because of the cycling. Now it's not causing any pixelation at all, but back I think it was the beginning of the year, I got 75 kilometers of wind and that started to cause a bit of pixelation. Now it didn't, I didn't lose picture altogether, it wasn't as bad as the cable pixelation. I could still see what was going on, but now and again, the whole screen would go pixelation, but then it'd come back. So it came back pretty fast. So that was the great thing with the um, strong winds. Also, if the dish does move a bit, you can fix this yourself, but Foxtel likes you to call a technician so they will fix it for you. Problem with doing that, it's an extra hundred bucks for them to come out to fix the dish. So my recommendations is, if you know what you're doing and you're not afraid of heights, yes, you can fix the satellite dish without getting a technician and it won't cost you a thing. But if you're afraid of heights and you don't know where to align the dish, definitely get a Foxtel technician. I know it will cost $100, but you may be able to talk to them and get it for free. So sometimes when you talk to them and go, I'm going to get a TV antenna company to align the dish, they will sometimes say, we'll waive the fee, we'll waive the technician fee. So sometimes sometimes you just go to um, say that to them, say you're going to get someone else, it's going to be way cheaper. And sometimes they will waive the fee. So hopefully they'll do that for you guys. If you do have a dish, severe dish issue and you can't fix it, um, hopefully they'll waive that fee for you. So another thing that will cause an outage with satellite is really grey skies, so dark grey skies can actually make you lose picture completely, it'll just say no signal, till those grey skies go away. But I haven't really had an issue with that, I only had a big issue when it was really heavy rain and it was just really dark outside. But you don't really get that, I didn't find that happen much, like a few days ago it was really dark outside, it was raining really heavy. And yeah, I didn't lose picture at all. I didn't even get any, any pixelation. So that was really good. So it can survive with really heavy rain and dark skies. But if it's really dark and no rain, um, sometimes you'll get no picture at all. Same as if there's really, really heavy rain. Sometimes you'll get no picture until it calms down and goes a bit lighter. But it can normally survive with really heavy rain in the satellite dish. Now this will make you lose signal immediately. So basically, if there is hail happening in your area, you will lose signal immediately, a good chance immediately, because a little bit of hail hit my dish and wow, it just knocked, it just stopped what I was watching, it said no signal. So if any bit of hail hits that dish, you'll lose signal completely until it stops. So keep that in mind. I don't know if you guys will have that issue. Um, if you've got a bigger dish, you probably won't have the issue, but I've just got the standard satellite dish. But as soon as a bit of hail hits that dish, depending on the size of the hail too, you'll lose signal completely until the hail goes away. And that's if it hasn't damaged the dish as well. But all in all, in outages with satellite, it's very rare. You need a massive storm, um, really strong winds, and I mean a massive storm, like really heavy rain, dark skies, to cause an outage. With Foxtel or Cable, basically anything has to go wrong with the pit, a little outage, um, something has to happen, and they'll take forever to fix it. Good thing with satellite, you can probably get it fixed as soon as that storm goes away, or as soon as it calms down a bit, and you'll have your picture back up and running. The only thing that will delay that if the dish has been moved at all. And it's pretty easy to fix. Again, if you can't fix it, just give Foxtel, Foxtel a call and they'll fix it for you. So now we're going to talk about the next. Now we're going to be talking about local channels. 
Now we'll talk about local channels. Now this is a bit of an interesting one and we'll talk a bit about it as much as the information I know. You guys might know a bit more, but this is the information that I know and we'll discuss a bit about that. So first of all, if you're with Foxtel Cable, you'll pick up all your local channels. So you pick up all the local channels without an antenna. So if you live on the southern coast, so on the southern coast of Surf Channel 10, it's actually called Win. So you'll have like Win, then you'll have Win Peach and Win Bold instead of Channel 10. Now that that's good. You don't have to plug an antenna in for that. But if you're with a satellite service and you want to pick those up through satellite and not antenna, well, with satellite, if you're on the southern coast, you don't pick up any of those channels. All you pick up through the satellite is SBS and ABC. So you pick up no channel 9, no channel 7, so you won't get the prime 7, won't get that, nope, and you won't get channel 9 and 10. So you won't get any of that. So they won't put it as win, we'll get nothing. All you'll get is SBS and ABC. And sometimes even when you plug the antenna in, based on the location with the Foxtel IQ4, you'll only pick up SBS through antenna and ABC. And you go, what? No channel nine, even though it's, I can pick it up. So sometimes that can be an issue with satellite if you're not in a major city. So if you're not in a major city, you may not pick up the channel nine. So keep that in mind. You, mind you may not pick up channel 9 channel 10 and channel 7 sometimes you can but based on the location sometimes you just can't scan channel 7 channel 10 and i just wanted to let you guys know about that with cable they'll automatically be scanned over to the cable box but with satellite they're not and with satellite you'll only get those abc and sbs and sometimes when you plug the antenna in based on the location if fox still thinks they're not available you actually won't tune channel 9 channel win and channel 7 prime so just want to give you that bit of information but if you're in a city so if you're in a city you will pick up basically you'll pick up channel 9 channel 7 channel 10 you'll pick up 9 go i don't think you pick up 9 gem over satellite and 9 life over satellite um you don't pick up 7 2 you do pick up 7 mate um and you do not pick up 7 flicks so to pick up those other channels you just have to plug in an antenna and since you're plugging that antenna and start doing a scan you'll pick up those other channels you just won't pick up seven food at the moment um that's not available on satellite at the moment or on any foxtel box so you can't even pick that up on actually the foxtel now box you can't pick up seven food so just want to let you know a bit about that so if you want all your free to wear channels um big cities is probably the best for the foxtel satellite service or you may not pick up any local channels so I saw this on the Foxtel community page and I noticed not many people answer it and know too much about it. Well, luckily I've actually done this as a real test. I've taken the Foxtel box to other places, even on a boat, and we're gonna talk a little bit about that if it all works there too. So if you've got a cable box, cable boxes will work if you move it to another house. So you can move it to another house and it will still work. Obviously, you're still gonna get the local channels of that postcode, so you can do that. I've never actually moved it from another state so if you move it to another state, it probably won't work. Or if you move it too far away from where you're located, the cable box, it probably won't work either. I only moved it like two kilometers away because I knew a friend that had a cable um, subscription and I went, will my box work at his house? So I tested it out and it does work. So if you want to take it to your friend's house, it doesn't live too far away, you can do it. Or you want to give it to your parents or you want to give it as a gift um, to your friend, you obviously could if they don't live too far away i'm guessing if they live like maybe 10 kilometers out or maybe 30 kilometers out it may not work okay so this may work so apparently when i called fox because i asked them about this can i um take it to my friend's house and they said to me no you can't it has a gps locator so if it moves your moves out of your residential address the box will not work you won't even be able to turn it on so i went that's an interesting theory are they saying that so i don't um, give it to my friends and family so they can have a multi-room box so they don't have to pay that high fox dog cost so i did the test it does not have a gps located uh, so far i have not noticed it has a gps located now i only took it to my friend's house for only two hours so it may take um a week for it to recognize your address but so far i do not think it has a gps locator in the box i don't think it does um so that's one thing i don't know about so that's with cable now with satellite satellite you can take it anywhere across the country now 
tested this on a boat. Now there was a houseboat and I, I was amazed they said yes. I just asked them, can I check out if the satellite services work on a boat? So I had to bring a dish over there as well. And yes, they do work. Now, obviously it won't work when the boat's moving. So if you go, got the boat parked and it's fine, you'll actually get a picture on a boat with the Foxtel satellite. Now you won't be able to tell Foxtel that you want the box for a boat. Just tell them you want it as a multi-room and they'll give you a box and all you need to do is buy a satellite and set it up and you can have Foxtel on a boat and a caravan, which is pretty cool. But the most thing that I think a lot of people are gonna wanna do is take their Foxtel IQ4 or whatever Foxtel box you got that has satellite and take it camping. Cause that way you'd have your premium TV and if you have a portable dish, you can easily go camping with your Foxtel. So you can never miss Foxtel. So if there's nothing to do when you go camping, there's nothing to watch. If you have a portable TV, you've got your Foxtel box and a satellite, you'll be good to go to watch Foxtel while you go camping, which is pretty cool. I just wanted to let you guys know that actually does work. And it's pretty cool. Like if I like the idea it works on a boat, I was shocked. I honestly did not think that would work on a um, boat. Um, but it did work, so I'm glad that did work, but I just wanted to let you know it can work on a boat if the boat isn't moving. Okay, another issue I did have now, boats have a satellite dish pre-put on the boat. That dish didn't work. I had to actually have to use a portable dish. So the dish actually on the boat, some boats have these, not all of them do. Um, this houseboat actually did have one of these circular dish, now it picked up nothing picked up nothing at all so I actually had to get a portable dish to test it out and then that did work so yeah it does work on a boat and it'll work on a caravan if you've got a portable dish so I did want to let you know now again I didn't really test this out much longer than a few days so I still don't know from now if it does still have a GPS locator now it's possible it does because if it's not matching your residential address they're going to stop the service from working now it's possible they have done that Again, I don't know. That's just what the um, Foxtel representative told me. So I don't know if it does have a GPS locator or if it doesn't. So I'm not sure right there. If you know if it does or doesn't, let us know down below and I'd love to know about that. So now we're going to tell you which one's really better by everything that I've said. I don't think I've got anything else to say with cable versus satellite. I think I've basically covered everything. If you think I've missed anything at all, let us know down below. So now we're going to tell you which one out of all what I've said is actually the better one to go with. So by how I've worked this out is cable because it has quite a lot of outages or depending on the area in you may not have any um, Foxtel outages with cable so I've just put a cross next to that because I did have a bit of outages um, especially when internet crashes if you're with Telstra um, yeah that can happen quite a lot same as if you go camping like this isn't really this is something you wouldn't really do anyway with your Foxtel box but you can't do that with um the cable box. Same as with local channels. Local channels is good. That's why we've got a smiley face there. So yes, you do get quite a lot of local channels with the cable box. With satellite, you don't really get outages at all. Same as if you go camping, you can take it camping. Again, I don't know how long you'd be able to take it camping because it has a GPS locator. Again, I don't know if it actually does have a GPS locator. Locator. I'm just going by what the representative told me and for the local channels It's not the best if you're in a big city and you go camping. Yes, the local channels will be fine I mean if you go maybe out west somewhere and have plug in your antenna You'll be able to pick up all those channels over there, too. So that's really great Now one more thing I will talk about which I haven't talked about much in this video I actually haven't talked about at all and that is Foxtel 4K. So if you do sign up and you're going for the Foxtel IQ4 to get satellite, yes, you will be able to get on the 4K channel, but you do need a available 4K TV. So keep that in mind. If you don't have a 4K um, TV, you will not be able to watch the 4K channel. Um, so if you've got a 4K TV, you'll be able to take advantage of that 4K channel with just getting um, Sports HD or Platinum HD and you'll be able to access that channel. So let me know what you think about today's video. If you like it at all, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you guys in our next video. Thanks again for watching, Down Under.